In this video, I'm going to be doing a held edge service as well as a front and rear differential service on my March 7 Golf Sport Wagon. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to keep this intro super fast. Uh, first, you're going to see me do a held deck service. Then I'm going to move on to the front and rear differential, uh, actually in reverse order of what I just said it. On the held deck service, you're probably going to notice that uh, unlike a lot of other videos, I didn't pull off the pump and clean the screen. Uh, I'll probably do that the next time that I do this service. Uh, and then for the front and rear differentials, the main thing I'm showing you there is where to access the fill and drain plug. So, Let's get into it with the Heldex service and I'll catch up with you guys when we're all done. All right, starting with the Heldex service, the first thing that you're gonna wanna be able to do is make sure that you can access your fill plug. So make sure you can loosen that because the last thing you wanna do is drain your fluid and then find out you have a stripped or non-removable fill plug. So here, I'm just opening up that fill plug now grab yourself an oil pan and go ahead and remove the Heldex drain plug. I had to use some universal joints or maybe didn't have to but preferred to use. Uh, it's not the easiest uh, plug to access based on what's around it. Once the fluid drains completely go ahead and replace that drain plug. Now grab yourself your oil pump with your Heldex fluid and go ahead and insert that in the fill plug. And you can see me here, I'm using the same hand pump I used in the previous DSG video and filling it up until it starts to run out the fill hole. Now before you replace the fill plug, go ahead and start your vehicle and open up OBD11 or whatever diagnostic tool you use and head on over to all wheel drive system and then select the clutch temperature. I also did the cooling fan and control module temperature. And what you're looking for is you need that to reach between 20 degrees and 40 degrees Celsius. Um, once it reaches that temperature, go ahead and pump a little bit more oil in until it flows out of the fill plug and then replace that fill plug. All right, moving on to the rear differential, just because it has such close proximity to the held decks, there's a very similar method to changing the fluid in the differential. There's a drain plug and a fill plug. You're gonna remove both of them. They both have hex bolts to, or hex bits that will be needed to remove them. Um, I again started by loosening the fill plug to make sure that comes out easily, and then draining the oil from the drain plug, which is just behind the rear sway bar. Once the fluid is completely drained, go ahead and replace the drain plug and then fill the differential via the fill plug until fluid starts to flow out of it in an even stream. Now, if you're wondering what my setup is for how I'm pumping oil in, I am actually using a kind of makeshift uh, build that I did using uh, air compressor fittings that seem to fit that fill plug on both the Heldex, the front and rear differential. Replacing the fluid on your front differential is exactly the same as your rear differential. Now here I'm showing you the front oil pan and the drain plug so you can get some idea of where I'm at under the vehicle and that right there is the front axle. This right here is the drain plug and then right tucked up just behind the passenger side axle is the fill plug. So similar to the back, let's start by removing the fill plug to make sure that comes out easily. Hard to get to. Once that's removed, go ahead and remove the drain plug and let the fluid drain out. Now go ahead and replace the drain plug once it's complete and clean up any mess. And then just like the rear, go ahead and fill via the fill plug until fluid starts to come out. And then replace the fill plug. All right, so that is really it when it comes to doing the Heldex and differential services, or so I believe. I'm sure some of you, uh, and I welcome it, will have tips and things that I should do 
differently next time, but that's why I'm doing these things so you guys, as well as myself, can learn from the process. If you like this video, please think about giving it a like, and also, if you like the content here, please subscribe. We're getting pretty close to a 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty freaking sweet, so thank you all for, again, checking out these videos, and look forward to sharing another one with you soon.